be my diploma. That would make me feel so good and proud that I that I am on the right track. That's what this is about. Pursuers of knowledge. And I'll do whatever I can to make sure that you understand to the best of my ability in the period and the time that I have here. Hoof Clan. That used to be the Beer Clan. Hoof Clan that are uh, gatherers. Music. Poetry. people. <laughs> These people are what they call gatherers. And sometimes back home I joke and we tell them that when they use that term gatherers, that doesn't mean you're walking along the highway picking up bottles and cans. It means uh, hazelnuts, plum, all the wild berries, blueberries. You guys have lots of blueberries up here, right? These people, that's part of the responsibility to gather them and for the whole community. And get them ready, know when they're ready, how to take care of them sort of thing. <clears throat> Wild rice, for example, those things like that, they should know. That's their responsibility. Artwork. That's the understanding of colors. Like, how do you make how do you, where do you get the color red from? And, and so on, the color black, where do you get it from? Well, we can say charcoal, blah, 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 all of us will say that. But these people should know how to blend colors. They should understand how to, how to, how to get the color, how to make it, and how to blend it. How to blend two different colors to form another color. What they should also understand here too, and this is one of the things I always tell people is that, uh, you know, for years, uh, in, in going back, you know, I used to hear my grandfather never liked school. And I heard, heard my dad say that he never liked school. I went to school, I didn't like school. My son went to school, he didn't like school. And all my grandchildren are going to school and they're uh, something questionable about it. And so what I did is, what do all these generations have in common? They don't like school. <laughs> why? Why? The question is why? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It's great. It's all, it's surrounding us, but we, we don't even see it. And it has a lot to do with this, this concept right here. The blending of colors. Okay, let me, let's go back and look at all these generations. What do they all have in common? It's right in here right now. You're in a, you're in this very good institution. I'm not knocking the institution. But these are things we have to look at. Because, first of all, you're Anishinaabe. Anishinaabe life and everything that's about us is... 
In a circle or round? You're sitting in a room that is? Square. And the room is colored white. All these generations that are gone here, including yourselves, and now my grandsons and my grandchildren, are all faced with the same issue. The room is square. It doesn't jive with our, our systems. The color is white. What's a other color for teaching? Well, I, I can't answer that because I, I'm not that knowledgeable about it. But if you go to an artist or go to an interior decorator, doesn't matter who the interior decorator is, what, doesn't matter what color they are, all you want from them is the information. If you were to bring him to this classroom, let's just deal with this classroom. <laughs> Sir or ma'am, this is a classroom. We don't like it because it's white, first of all, and it's square. And it doesn't fit with my culture. How do I change that without drastically changing the structure of the building? Well, an, an, a, a, a very good artist. We'll start planning it out. Say, well, if I use the colors, I could blend it to take the corners out. Just the colors alone. Or they might, uh, you have it, I, I've seen it, it's so wonderful. Your, your, your water slide over there in, in Thief River. When I look in there, and I see these big, big trees. I don't know, there's uh, beetles on there, and it might be, it might be plastic ones, but Boy, does that make me feel good when I just see that. Inside that, inside that water slide, there's big, big trees like that. Bark on them and everything. Look at that concept. How does it, when, if you ever go there again, and, and you take a look at this, and, and does, it, does it affect you in any way, seeing a tree inside of a building? Maybe not a real tree. I don't know if it's real or not. I didn't go and check the bark and see there's beetles back there or whatever, but I didn't do that. Take that concept. How do you, maybe not necessarily bring a tree in here, but how do you make this this room, that square, make it look like it's round or give it some roomy appearance? Well, first of all, you might want to change the top here and maybe put some kind of a sky up there. <laughs> Take a while. <laughs> maybe. Do something with the, the, the roof here to make it look like it's sky world or something. And I, I'm not an artist, so I, I, I'm sitting around in the dark here. You might want to paint the, the walls a different color, but you have to talk to somebody that understands art and the colors and, and the patterns and how they work together. <laughs> when you go to hospital, what color do you see? Yeah. When you go to a learning institution like this, what colors do you see in here? doesn't jive here somewhere, just that alone. You go into your home, is your home all, oh, you make it, you rearrange things in here to make it more comfortable for you. In your room, you guys, whose uh, who's great big poster is on the wall? It used to be a couple walls in my days. What do you got there, Britney Spears? Oh, who? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> for uh, for Buffy Dick Marie, you know? I don't know. Same thing with the, the, you know, you can change the color. You can talk to somebody that understands the colors, patterns, interior decorating. Come in here, read their uh, interior decorating. Even yourselves as 